Agco, John Deere and Case IH leaders jumped at the chance to talk to elite precision dealers and the first ever OEM panel at the Precision Farming Dealer Summit in St. Louis. Agco's Seth Crawford, Deere's Matt Olson, and Case IH's Kendall Quandall fielded questions about their strategic direction for business and outlook on autonomy. Now, an audience member asked them uh, for their thoughts on how fully autonomous machines are going to reshape agriculture. Here's what they said. Our key thing is, is making sure that we're understanding the value that's created for the customer, making sure that they retain uh, the greatest share of that, but then we look at sharing some of that, that value with our dealers and, and for us as, as a business. And so to me, outside of the work that is done, is, it should be really pretty seamless because we've talked a lot about, we've been on this journey mm -hmm. to uh, autonomy for a long time and, and now we're just getting to a point where we say, Get out of the cab, you don't need to be there. If we do this right, collectively as a whole, we won't notice because we took everybody one step at a time to deliver the solutions they're asking. And then in two years and five years and 10 years, we look back and say, man, we had to do what? We don't even realize, you know, if we're all invested in the autonomy journey, we, we won't even realize that it's happening. You know, how is it changing our business internally with everything that's going on? I can tell you for sure we're hiring a lot more software engineers and robotics engineers and sensors and perception engineers than we've ever hired uh, in our past. And we're, we're hiring as, as a percentage then a lot less mechanical engineers. Uh, and, and that will uh, reshape how the products are, are uh, brought out and developed and be on the lookout for a full recap of that OEM panel coming soon to precisionfarmingdealer.com. In the technology corner, I'm Noah Newman.